Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Nina here. So today I'm here to show you how to achieve this look right here that I am totally in love with. I used a whole bunch of new items. I used a whole bunch of new uh, brushes to achieve this look. And you can see from the title that the main focus of this video are these brushes right here. And these are the only brushes that I use to achieve this entire face, believe it or not. They all come in one set and then they are available if you want them you can contact me on my instagram business page which i will talk about in details later on in the video if you guys want to learn how to achieve this look using just a single brush set i've made it easy <laughs> then keep on watching this like i said is the foaming uh, brush set you get 10 brushes plus this brush roll you open it up and here are your brushes i mean this brush set to me is so beautiful because it's like all black for this video i'm going to use just these 10 brushes for my entire face so these are the brushes that you get as you can see you get a foundation brush you get powder brush blush brush highlighter brush setting powder brush you get all the eye shadow brushes that you would need you get everything in this in this set so the first thing I'm going to start with is this primer right here. This is the Wet and Wild Photo Focus Matte Face Primer. I've been using this of late and I have been loving it. I'm just looking for my mirror. I have been using it of late and I've been loving it. It keeps my face mattified and it makes my makeup last all throughout the day. I don't use... I stopped using primer all over my face a while ago. So I just put it on the places where I think I need it or the places where I usually get oily which is my t-zone area so that's just where I'm going to put it and you know how some matte primers feel like they're drying out your skin you know this this doesn't do that this is um kind of moisturizing and at the same time mattifying I know it doesn't make sense but when you get your hands on one you will understand what I'm trying to say next I'm going into this new Maybelline foundation that I started using I have been looking for a full coverage foundation for so long and I finally found one so this has been all the rave lately and so many people have been talking about how good this foundation is and I decided that I had to try it out and I see what the rave or what all the rave was about because it's an amazing foundation I'm going to just take two pumps onto the back of my hand I tend to not use a lot of foundation just in general because I don't like that cakey look on the face I really don't I like it when my I like it when my makeup looks as natural as possible. I mean, I don't mind if people can tell that I'm wearing makeup, but then I also don't like it when it looks so cakey and just fake. The first brush that I'm going to use is the foundation brush, and all the brushes actually have names, and this is the F23. I'm going to you can see that it has a flat top, which is perfect for blending out foundation. Do you guys see how flawlessly this brush blended out my foundation? And another new product that I've been loving is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. So I'm going to use this same brush to blend out my concealer. I'm going to be using the MAC X Patrick Star. Patrick Star? Yeah, Patrick Star setting powder so i'm just going to take that on the f24 and sweep it under my eye wherever i put the concealer i'm going to set it with this powder is it me or is this foundation looking a little gray <laughs> i 
feel like it's it's the perfect shade no i feel like it's a good shade but the undertone is off kind of is it just me oh, it's already on to set the rest of my face i'm going to be using the f21 which to me is the perfect large powder brush there is something off about this foundation I don't know if it's because I have like such bright lights on me because normally when I use it I don't get this vibe from it but today I feel like it looks a little bit gray anyways moving on let's try and see if I can bring a little bit more redness into my face I'm going to use the L'Oreal infallible pro matte powder you guys have seen me use this powder a bazillion times yes that's a word and yes I just used it <laughs> I'm going to use this powder and if you want to know how much I love this powder and how much I've used this powder this is your evidence this right here is your evidence do you see what's left of it and to bring even more color back into my face I'm going to use the same brush that I used for powder and I'm going to use it for blush I'm just using this shade from the elf blush Palette. I'm going to mix it with the bottom shade right here and then I'm going back into the L'Oreal powder and I'm using the the E138 brush from the same collection this is what it looks like I'm going to use it to contour my nose I am going to do my brows off camera and I'll come back so that we can finish the rest of the eyes and the rest of my makeup hey guys so my brows are done and it started raining really loudly so i'm going to have to voice over the rest of this video i'm going to take my it's my ray ray palette using the e135 brush and use the shades pancake and mousse to set my eyelids next i'm taking the shade spice <laughs> and i'm going to use that as my transition colors this orange shade from the palette I'm then going to go in with the E136 brush, yes, <laughs> taking the shade Friday which is this gorgeous pinkish shade and I'm going to use that on my crease or in my crease, I'm deepening that shade up really well because that will be my darkest shade and then I'm going to go into this gorgeous liquid eyeshadow from the same brand which is also available and I'm going to pack that onto my lids you guys can see how beautiful this liquid eyeshadow is and it just makes everything so much easier i'm then gonna go into the shade connie with the small e139 brush and i'm going to use that to define my lower lash line this brush is perfect for that i'm then setting my face with the mario badescu facial spray and if you guys have watched my previous video then you've seen how much I've raved about this product so if you haven't watched it then go watch it I'm then taking the shade Tiffany with the same E139 brush and I'm going to use it to add Tiffany into my inner corners it's beautiful next I'm taking my lashes which I am the style A17 and here I was just so happy with how the lashes were looking those lashes were stunning I'm adding a little bit of highlighter to my cheeks now and I'm moving on to liquid lipstick. So this is the AOA liquid lipstick, which is available also. This is in the shade, shade. <laughs> yeah, and this is beautiful muted brown color, which I am in love with. I'm topping it off with the diamond lip gloss in Girl Power. And did you guys see that first swatch of that lip gloss on my lips? Like I am just in love with this lip gloss right now and this has been my favorite lip combo to date and you guys can see here how it looks in its full glory <laughs> yeah but I, I am in love with this lip combo and you can also get it if you decide to you know get the products this is everything. the finished look I added the lip gloss and like I am just amazed and in love with how this whole look turned out i love it and i hope that you guys loved it too 
a lot of the products I used in this video are new and a lot of them almost all of them actually are still available you can get them if you give me a DM on Instagram I'm still going to leave my Instagram business page name handle <laughs> somewhere on the screen and I'll also link it down below so you can easily reach me and yeah I, I think I'm out of things to say but let's just absorb all of this in because I, I I am in love with this look and I hope you guys enjoyed this video please like and comment and subscribe to this video and I'll see you guys in my next video bye